I, I legit, it's my least favorite level. Really? You yeah, are no insane. Way. It's my no least way. favorite. Wow. It's wow. My least favorite. You would rather play Rainbow Ride than... Yes. All day. What? Rainbow Ride is fun. Rainbow what? Ride is trash. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Gamer Tears. Today's portrait of painted opinions is on Super Mario 64 levels. And just to be clear, that's just the 15 levels that doesn't include any of the bonus stages as much as we love them. My name is Todd, I'm your host, and I am joined by my panel of Austin, Chad, John, and Shane. How's it going everybody? How you guys doing? Yo. Hey. Thank you for joining me. So we're gonna start our adventure where Super Mario 64 starts. Bob on Battlefield. Hey. Uh, obviously, it starts outside in the cast, outside the castle. Actually, no, it starts in the sky with a letter about oh, cake. Yeah, you <laughs> fake gamers! It starts on a screen with Mario's face. Oh my Absolute god! Absolute fake. Oh, it geez. starts when you put the game into the cartridge. <laughs> you gotta go to you gotta go to Walmart and buy your copy. <laughs> it starts with copyright text. All right, let's start over. <laughs> let's start over. This episode, we're done. Let's start over. Miyamoto's gonna show up and be like, you all need to shut up. Which stars do you remember the clearest from your childhood or the first time you played? bob -omb Battlefield, the King bob -omb one, the very first one you get, that's also memorable. Even the Chain Chomp one, which is usually now the one I get first, is also pretty memorable. I definitely remember uh, bob -omb Battlefield. It's a great stage because even if you're really bad at Mario 64, you can't fall off the level. It's like a safe haven. Bob on Battlefield, right? Obviously it's very important because it is the first world in the game. Before we get into the discussion though, go ahead and place Bob on Battlefield right now. Boom. Oh. Where's everybody else putting it? No oh. way. Oh. Oh. Hey, it looks like you have to put it in A. It, it just <laughs> like... Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. <laughs> A contrarian, See, Austin. Peanut butter contrarian. Yeah, oh, C for wow. contrarian. Wow. Okay. Uh, Austin, <laughs> why are you putting it at C? Um, because everybody else put it at A, and <laughs> I was going to put it at B, but everyone seeing everyone else put it at A, I mean, it's like it's a good level. But I vote that Austin puts his level <laughs> rankings first next time, and then we do it after. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need to cheat off of you guys. But, but but genuinely though, so it doesn't, you don't feel like it deserves to be higher. There's other aspects to the, some of the other levels that Bobon Battlefield just doesn't have. It's just a sort of basic level and it's fairly rudimentary. Okay. When it comes to the gameplay mechanics. That was the best explanation you could give at the last minute <laughs> without any other reasoning. Like take any other level, like, you know, tiny, huge island. There's a, there's a huge aspect that like, the, the being smaller, are you smaller or are you big? You take like the the magic carpet ride level. It's like, well, you're moving around on this thing and you can go in all these different areas. Yeah, but it's a tutorial <laughs> level and it's a pretty good tutorial level. Yeah, if any other level was the first level, that'd it'd be a worse game. Exactly. Well, yeah, but I mean, exactly. you're Ooh. right, but you're right, but I'm not basing it my my judgment of the level based on well, you don't you're not good at the game when you first start. Dude, it, we're talking about Bob -Bomb Battlefield. How is this con so controversial? This is the first one. <laughs> Holy frick! Awesome. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to be controversial. People are coming at me, so I have to defend my thought process. Defend your opinions. I didn't know us had such strong Bob -Bomb Battlefield opinions. I don't. You guys are coming at me. What do you want me to do? The rest of you put it at A. Shane, I want to actually ask you you um what do you think that bob on battlefield does well not just as a tutorial level but as a level i mean it's a good pr playground that has a little bit of everything like it has a lot of um flat land as well as vertical movement sorry vertical ascension for merit like for the player to go up and get used to the game and like how it works there's a chain chomp in level one like is there any other mario games that have a chain chomp in level one i don't think so mm. a giant one you can blast out of a cannon. As <laughs> like, like, like one of the first things you can do in the game. But you can do that in other levels. <laughs> straight away? What, what other levels let you blast out of a oh, cannon straight away? Straight away, well, I don't know. Womp's Fortress? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, yeah. I mean, we'll Maybe get to third. Womp's Fortress, but that's basically just a better, better bottom, bottom battlefield, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wait, exactly. That's really interesting, because I've never heard that opinion. Um, 
so if, if Austin, if you agree with that, why do you feel that way? It's a more compact level. It's the vertical aspects of the level are more interesting in the way you get to the top of the castle as opposed to just running in a circle around the mountain and there's the balls that come at you. That's just kind of tedious. Uh, it's so tedious that they put a shortcut where you can teleport. Um, <laughs> there's no star in Womp's Fortress that I'm like, oh, this one. In fact, there's a lot of stars that I particularly like. I always liked the cannoning yourself into the wall. Chipping off the brick corner in uh, Womp's Fortress by blasting out the cannon blew my goddamn mind as a kid. Like, I did that by accident. It was, like, the hypest moment of my childhood, to be honest. Not, not a very eventful childhood, but that's up there. Let's talk about something that binds these two levels. Uh, and something that you guys actually had a lot of opinions about. It, all, all favorable bosses. So both Bob on Battlefield and Womp's Fortress s essentially start with a boss battle. What do you think it is about like going into Mario, Mario 64, 3D, whole new world, and one of the first things that you do, the first couple things you do is fight bosses? I guess bob -omb is like the best boss you can start with because it, it sets up the whole like, this is a giant platform that you can fall off, but if you fall off, you just have the punishment of trying to get back up, whereas when you fight Bowser, if you fall off, you, I guess you just go back to like the pipe. You don't really get kicked out of the level, I think. How does that compare though to, I forget the star, but the Womp boss in Womp's Fortress? Womp is the first boss you where there's actual like a threat because you have to learn how to dodge him because he will actually attack you. King bob is just like, you're inconvenienced. I've reset my health meter. Go do that again. <laughs> He's a pacifist. He doesn't want, like, you're the villain. He's a king. Monarchs are known for murdering. Do you guys find that boss to be difficult? Did you find it difficult as a kid? Yeah, not at all. It's, it's one of the easiest really. bosses, easily. You just go between his legs, jump back, and slam. He's huge, though. Like, kind of scary. He's just, like, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Does that take away, though, from the rest of Womp's Fortress as a level? Like, do you... You guys were saying that the bosses kind of made a lot of an impression on you. Does that affect how you think about Womp's Fortress? I mean, oh, it's really. just the first star, and, like, once you kill him, <laughs> more stage appears. So, like, mm. he's the load-bearing boss of uh, like, at the end of the day. <laughs> load-bearing boss. Yeah, you slam him into, to, to become the foundation for the tower. He's concrete now. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so, speaking of the, the world kind of evolving in Womp's Fortress, uh, I, I want to talk generally. I kind of feel like uh, you can... You can typically categorize most of the stars in Mario 64. Uh, specifically, though, there's a couple categories I think that are pretty big. Um, and I want a whiteboard question for you guys to pick between a couple categories. So get your whiteboards out. Get them out. Find them. Except for Austin, who has a clipboard. <laughs> Here's my four categories. And you're going to put the one that you like in general, you, you tend to prefer. Summits, which is get to the top of a level. Uh, bosses or defeating enemies where it's like, you know, like bully the bullies, stuff like that. Puzzles. And platforming or skill challenges. So things like, like skill challenges would be like the red coins or like Hoopa the Quick, stuff like that, where it's like you have to pass kind of a skill test. How do you spell puzzles? <laughs> <laughs> a actual question though, is the one M in Summit or two? <laughs> <laughs> two Z's in puzzles, two M's in summit. Okay, good. <laughs> just just draw, I was joking. draw a summit. I would, I'd like it to be known I was joking. Uh, all right, is everybody ready? Show them. Puzzle. Puzzles, boss. What? Okay, okay. I thought I thought we. Okay, no, but you split it, so we did get one of everything. That's so cool. Okay, uh, Shane, I want to go with you first. Yeah. What is it about climbing levels that appeals to you so much? Well, it's like the one of the reasons why I like Mario sixty four so much is I think it handles. Um, vertical movement really well, lots of wall jumping uh, in the level design, uh, and you can get places in creative ways. The missions in the levels that are tall, where you have to get to the top, they always utilize that really well. John, you were split, uh, yep. puzzles and platforming. Were you split or were you saying both? I'd say both. Could you elaborate on that? Well, well puzzles, I always like the whole, because I like the exploration aspect of these games. So I like being able to be like, okay, I've got a vague hint, Let's see if we can figure out exactly what we need to do with this. Like, okay, I see a star that's underwater, but there's like a giant jet pushing me away. 
do I have the ability to do this yet? No, then I have to keep exploring the rest of the game to be able to come back and get that. So I agree with John on that, but I also was including the levels sort of like the one we talked about before, or the one that I always used as an example because for some reason it stood out to me a lot as a kid was the one where it's like, find the, the igloo and it's like, Oh. And you, it, it's in this sort of like obscure part of the mountain and you finally find it. It's like, oh, well that's the igloo. And you crawl in there and it's like an entire new level. I, I, I include that as puzzles. Was there anything else that you wanted to talk about why you like bosses or any levels or stars that we didn't talk about that kind of make you feel that way? Oh yeah, I remember the first time I saw Mario 64, like the game in general was at a kiosk at Sears and then like the Classic. idol the idol demo screen is like Mario swinging around Bowser like, <laughs> I remember I will never forget that and I'm just like first of all Mario is super strong second of all <laughs> you can you can fight like bosses in 3D that's really cool we're gonna try something different I want you guys to from the categories that you picked for the whiteboard question pick two levels that you feel best ha have the most or best of that category and place them. And then we're gonna talk about them. I'm a one and one. Whoa. That's that's gonna be a conversation. Oh, this I is know. tough. I know. This is tough because I know of a level that has a good boss, but I hate the level. So I don't want to put it high, very high up. That's okay. We can look that's but that's all right. We can we can we can, we can talk about that. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, a lot of controversy spicy. Has, has, has hit the, spicy. Hit the field. Wait, what, what's Ooh. Jones? I can't see that one. TikTok clock in S? <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. I'm fine with Let, it. Let's hold off on TikTok because I, we'll, I want to get to TikTok a little bit later. Let's hold off on TikTok because TikTok is a very interesting level. Hazy Maze Cave. John, S. Yep. Austin, A. What's so good about Hazy Maze Cave? It's so much in one stage. It's a lot of exploration. It's a lot of different mazes. It's even got hidden extra stars inside because it's how you find the metal cap. It's kind of a dense stage and area around the stage because they just kind of put a lot of focus into it to the point where they literally give you a map inside of the stage because they were like, you're going to get lost. So have fun. That, that is a stage that is 100% exploration. I think it also, as we were mentioning earlier, it has good puzzle stuff. Like almost every star in the level is a puzzle. There's the one yeah. where it's like, you just have to bounce. Yeah, between, between the walls. Yes. It's like you get that star. It's like, what? But you just mm. you just have to figure it out. You just bounce. You just wall jump up to the stars right yep. there. It doesn't even take very long to get. I would argue the only bad star in that stage is the red coin one because it's that stupid oh. platform you need to like move over, press mm. a button on, and then jump <laughs> off of in time. And it like jiggles. It jiggles every oh. time you do do something. Just like as yeah, much, yeah. yeah. As much as I love that stage, I hate that platform. Speaking of puzzle levels and boss levels, Chad, Big Boo's haunt. Yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah, really? Yeah, I thought F that's what you were reacting at earlier. That's yeah. that's what I was reacting to. To Jesus. be fair, to be fair, the only thing I really do not like about Big Boo's Hot is the music, because there's not it's not <laughs> music. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you mean the atmospheric? The that's not an atmosphere. That's a headache, bro. Okay, but is there anything else about that stage you don't like, or is it literally like you can't even enjoy it because you hate the sound well, of being in I... it? He was scared of the piano. It's the piano. Actually, I didn't think about the piano. The piano is like a mini boss. But I was, <laughs> I was tasked with putting ones on this list that had cool bosses. Big Boo's Haunt is a cool boss, but as a level, I don't really like it. It's probably my least favorite level in the whole game. It, it's probably the stage with the most boss fights. That's yeah. what I said. I think the bosses are cool, <laughs> but the level's not that great in general, in my opinion. Everything's too cryptic. The music's freaking annoying. Sure. I don't even know what you're talking about. This is the music that plays. Where's the, I don't know, whatever. When you start the game, there's an atmospheric wind blowing. Yeah. That like plays that with all the kind of like the, like the marimba, not marimba, the, the xylophone, like, like it's playing under that. Yeah. You know what? I was going to rank it high, but I forgot about the marimba. So <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was the deal breaker. All right. Well, go ahead and place it on the list then. And then we'll, well, I want to hear about why it's so good other than the music not being an issue. Oh, John, straight to the top. Chain just below Hazy Maze. John, what's so good about this level? I like that it's, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle and exploration. It's a giant house 
Uh, each part has like a different kind of puzzle to it. And I like that there's just so many layers to it. It's like a three or four story house and it actually feels like that. The only star I'd say I don't like is the one where after you kill Big Boo on the roof, you have to climb the roof because sometimes the <laughs> the roof physics just are like, yeah, no, you, you get to do the climb all over again. Yeah, why did they do yeah. that? That made no sense. That made no sense. You should rank it down. I, I do really like the hidden wall jump. Yeah, like, me too. Yeah, I think there's a really cool little secret that as a kid, you probably played that level a couple times and just didn't realize it. And then, then you have to wall jump up and you finally get to the attic. I think the biggest criticism I have of this level is that outside of the mansion and the underground area, there's basically nothing. Like the outside of the mansion, there's like just a few it's enemies just empty around. Space. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna bump it yeah, up. I'll give I'll give it that. Like running around sucks. Gonna, it's definitely better than freaking. Ah, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Me and Chad both had this realization of our least favorite level. It's like, wait, it's not that bad. <laughs> uh, so Austin, it doesn't does it not quite land for you as much as uh, it does for Chad and John? Well, it's just one of those levels where realistically it's a it's a really good level, but for some reason it just doesn't. I just don't want to go in it as much as some of the other ones. I actually want to talk about one of the games which Shane put on his list. Uh, Tiny Huge Island. What are your favorite kinds of Super Mario 64 stars to get? Anything that involves Tiny Huge Island. I love the concept of being like tiny in a regular space. Great level. Any stars in that, I'll go for. Tiny Huge Island as a concept is so awesome. There will be not a single person that will not like that as a level idea. One of the interesting things about a few of the worlds in this game is that they have a specific level entry gimmick. Tiny Huge Island, Dire Dire Docks, TikTok Clock. How much of just the just entering the world changes your opinion of a world? I actually uh, this kind of goes against something that I had said, but I hate Tiny Huge Island, and and it's because of the entry, the way you enter the level, and you're either big or small. I just I just hate that. I it's the gimmick is not fun to me at all. It's annoying. Chad doesn't seem to like that. No one seems to like it. Everybody John, dislikes John's, that. John's eyebrows I'm are the most the animated. I'm breaking the rules. Break you. Okay, fine. I, I legit my least favorite level. Really? You yeah, are no insane. Way. It's my no least way. favorite. Wow. It's wow. my least favorite. Well, uh, maybe second at least. You would rather play Rainbow Ride than Tiny Huge Island? Yes. All day. What? Rainbow Ride is fun. Rainbow what? Ride is trash. <laughs> No, yeah, no, I, I'm with, I'm with Shane. Rainbow Ride sucks. Yeah, <laughs> it is the worst stage by far. It is a f tech demo of a stage. No, Ooh. I like Rainbow Ride. Rainbow yeah. Ride's kind of cool. It's yeah. got rainbows and a magic carpet. What's wrong with yeah, you? Yeah, yes. Rainbow Magic Carpet's cool. I also love making one mistake and have to do the entire damn twenty minutes of <laughs> auto scrolling over again. Well, that's because you suck. <laughs> I think Shane's having a migraine. I'm, I'm struggling to process what I just like, encountered. I'm. <laughs> Are we ranking? Are we Bro, ranking? I, I, Shane right and now? I did it. Screw it. Let's I, do it. I, I think Rank we Rainbow should. Ride. But real quick, real quick, I have to say, I have to, I feel bad. I gotta call you out, Chad. What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paraphrase something that you said <laughs> in your throwback. You said, "Rainbow Ride is the absolute worst. Cool appearance, <laughs> cool idea, not fun. Requires the highest skill and patience. I don't have patience." <laughs> Well, you're breaking it, Aid. You said that. Let me explain. Let me explain. In the time that I recorded that, and just now, I got extremely good at the game. That's why it's in. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, we, we're, we got. We're several subjects deep. I apologize for the chaos. We're gonna let's let's this go back off through the rails. Them. Let's go. Let's go back through them one at a time. We're at Rainbow, we're at Rainbow Ride. And if you'll allow me one F-bomb, I'll say F Rainbow Ride. I hate that level. <laughs> it was just designed to be annoying. No one likes that level. Who likes that level? Weirdos like that level. Shane, what's your problem with uh, Rainbow Ride? I can't think really of anything in that level that's fun to do besides maybe the little uh, contained like 2D platformer area section. Yep. That's like that coin, the that red coin, coin maze. That coin yeah. maze is fun. That's the only good part of that level. The rest of it is just like, as past Chad said, it's a test of patience. <laughs> I love the, the idea of going through a long level that's hard and almost kind of annoying. And then you finally get the start. You're at the admitting end it's, it's like, annoying. Yeah! 
The I, euphoria. Guys, I just love long, annoying levels. I do. <laughs> I, I changed do. my mind. I'm just, I, Shane and John, Shane and John, convinced me. Your defense was no good, Austin. I'm moving it down. <laughs> I, okay, I mean, I was I was saying annoying because I thought it was funny. No, nothing actually, quite hits the spot like a long annoying level. For the record, I do I understand what you're saying, Austin. Yeah, it's the euphoria of completing it. That's that's what I'm, I want. I'm like aiming for that. It's like it's annoying and it's like hard and like you rage, but then when you finally get it, it's like, yes. I think that's Rainbow Ride sorted. Uh, <laughs> so let's rewind. So you. What is it you don't like about Tiny Huge? You said you don't like the intro gimmick in particular. What what's the issue there for you? It's not so much the intro intro, it's just the gimmick in as a whole. I don't enjoy the being smaller being big. It I don't really even have anything to back that up. It's just I mm. just don't like it. And also just like traversing the map is annoying. I'm the exact opposite and I can't I don't really have a good reason for why I love that gimmick. <laughs> Like genuinely, like if you ask me to explain it, I can't really. Like, I I could I could pull something out of my ass, but I can't. But truly put it into words why I like it. Huh. But I don't understand what you mean. Getting around the course is annoying. Yeah, you can literally make the I course tiny. You can literally clear it in two <laughs> jumps. <laughs> There's all these sides where it's like you can fall in water, and then the other side it's like you can fall into the sky. Like it is a really weird and bizarre level. John, where are you? Where are you ranking this? You're the only one who hasn't ranked it. I was gonna say, I, yeah, John, why don't you go ahead and place uh, Tiny Huge as well? We're all gonna, gonna watch where, and judge. Fall. Oh frick okay. yeah! Oh frick yeah! Oh um, yeah, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> I will put it in S, but I have a feeling by the end of this list, I'm going to have so many S ranks. So, the only reason I don't put it in S is it, a couple of the stars are kind of meh. Like the one where you have to slowly walk across that long platform yeah. to get in the door. <laughs> that's like the uh, one part I like. <laughs> <laughs> that, because that's the long annoying part, right? When are they going to release Super Mario long and annoying? <laughs> <laughs> Real quick. We have, this is a my bad, everybody. Put Womp's Fortress on the tier list. Oh, <laughs> we're, oh, yeah. I think oh, yeah. We're done talking about that one. Okay. Mm. All right. Everyone thinks really highly of this level. Well, well, maybe they don't. We'll see how Chad, when Chad's done humming. He's just, he's just doing the troll now <laughs> at this point, I think. Let's do random. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right. Nope. No random. We're not doing random. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, very favorable. Okay. All right. So one of the one of the questions that I asked you guys in your throwbacks um, that ended up having a lot of interesting answers was: Can a Mario sixty four stage have bad stars but still be a good stage, or the opposite? No. Because the stars are the stage. Uh, do you want to go ahead and elaborate on that? I mean, I like the I might like the aesthetics of one level, but if the if it's not actually fun to play, it's not. It's not a high level for me. I mean, that's why I don't like Tiny Huge Island. I don't find most of the stars to be fun, and the gimmick isn't fun. So it's like, you know, if I'm going to do a, a, a mountain level, I'd rather just do Tall Tall Mountain, I guess. Which I also don't like that much, but that's that's a diff difference. <laughs> because mm. it doesn't have very fun stars. Like, name one good, name one fun star in Tall Tall Mountain. Getting to the top. That's the only one. The monkey, chasing the monkey. <laughs> I hate the monkey. The slide. Yeah, the slide. Fair. I love the slide. I forgot about that. Got him. There's, but but that's only one. John, you really like Tall Tall Mountain. Is did was there more that you wanted to say about it? I like the stage a lot, but I I realize there's a couple of stars I'm kind of met on, and there's like weird little things here and there that bug me about the stage. I hate having to chase the monkey around, even if it's just in a small confined zone. It's just one of those like, just give me the star. This, <laughs> you're basically this is just the exact same challenge as get to the top, but now I need to do uh I need to leap around a bit instead. Do any of you guys have uh any opinions about Tall Tall Mountain, or is it kind of just... Um... Sounds like no! So let's go ahead and place <laughs> it and move on! <laughs> yeah. Alright. There it is. I don't have a single S yet. We're coming up on those, buddy! What's the longest, most annoying level? Is that gonna go in there? <laughs> <laughs> I would never have thought of these levels to be divisive, but they are. Lethal Lava Land, Shifting Sandland. These so, are these are controversial. They are controversial. I'll be mad if Shifting Sandland and Lethal Lava Land are not high on the list. I'm not the biggest fan of Shifting Sandland as a stage because there's just so many instant kill ways you can die in that one. Like it's got a lot of great stars, but I just really 
don't like the stage. Lethal Lava Land. Not that it's a bad level, but it just doesn't really have any right to be a good level. It's just like a bunch of rectangles over lava. I said this was a bad level with good stars because right. it is just a bunch of rectangles on lava. That's correct. Yeah. And that and that's my entire opinion on that. <laughs> <laughs> I completely agree with that. It's the yeah. ugliest, most pointless looking level in the entire game, but the actual stars are really good. And both Lethal Lava Land and Shifting Sands Land are the only two levels that have another level inside the level. This, the temple, or rather the, the pyramid temple and the volcano. Right. Like you right. jump there, this huge thing in the middle of the level. It's very cool. You look at that like, oh, what's that? And then you eventually realize that you go into it and then another level opens up. That's so cool to me. And mm, that's yeah, just like tiny, I huge island. <laughs> <laughs> There's a level you hate. He's right. What? What are you just, referring ju to? Just like Tiny Huge the Island. Inside the, the, the inside yeah. cave where you fight the Wiggler and get but the that's other the stuff. That is no, my there's favorite there's, part there's, of there's multiple level. There's multiple missions in there. There's two coins. Two stars in there. Yeah. yeah. What's the second one? Red the red coins? coins. Yeah, yes. red coins. Oh. The red coin jump maze. <laughs> okay. Okay. Isn't, doesn't the volcano only have two? It's like okay. the same but first size. All, first of all, first of all, first it's, of all, first yeah. of all. I, that's what you're arguing against. It's not, not even something I disagree with. That's the best part of that level. I don't like the rest of the level. But there, there is a reason why I would rank, I rank specifically rank Shifting Sandland above Lethal Lava Land is because the pyramid thing is more is more substantial. It has two, three stars I can't remember inside and a boss. That's so that to me that's the best level in the entire game because the outside part of the level is interesting. And then it has an entirely different level inside the level that's almost even more substantial than the outside of it. John said, mm -hmm. you said you don't like the outside of the level. The pyramid's the most interesting part of uh, Shifting Sandland, but I think the outside sucks. You can wait slowly in the block moving maze. You can uh, avoid the insta-kill sand. You can play with the four pillars that sometimes just choose not to work for some reason and force you to come back True. and do them again. Hey man, there's a little pond that you can play in in the corner. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> I've never had a good experience with the outside of Shifting Sandland and it uh, colors my experience. I hate that stage. Why don't we place them and see if there's any residual opinions to discuss? Lethal Lava Land and Shifting Sandland. Oh, John Worst also doesn't icon. like Lethal Lava Land. <laughs> Worst icon, best level. I don't like the volcano stars. Because I remember as a kid, uh, the camera issues when you have to jump to the pillars. And I don't know if it's just I was in the wrong camera mode or what, but I just remember that being annoying and having to do the entire like ride yeah. all over again. I, I had the same memory of what you're talking about, John. Mm. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills right now. With this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so everyone's done their placements and uh, most people are looking at Lethal Lava Land at C. Austin has put both Shifting Sands and Lethal Lava Land at S. How do you feel about that? It's a little bit too, a little too much praise. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you guys are really under ranking how there's, they're, they're the only two levels that have a level within the level. Except we totally established that it is not. <laughs> is there an opinion within your opinion that can justify why that's good? <laughs> oh, what is that? What is that? Wow. <laughs> wow. You have Tiny Huge Island all the way at the bottom. It has a yes. level within a level that's the same yep. size as Lethal Lava Land. And, and I don't, I don't think a pairing t the the boss fight, the just the boss fight and the red coins area and and Tiny Huge Island is not. That's nowhere near a comparison to like the volcano aspect. Basically, the from what I can understand. Austin doesn't like being tiny or huge, and that's the end of the story. I, I, yeah, I that's think the only like, reason I don't I, like tiny huge island. I, I think don't that's like it. That's like one of the main parts of Mario. <laughs> but shifting Sandland to me, I did, I can't believe. Where did you guys put it? D. B, <laughs> I, I put it in B. I think it's good. B. I think B is at least. Uh, I, I still think that it's. The, I think it's. You think it's the best level in the game? Yeah, I think it's the best level in the game. Nothing really comes that close. Well. John disagrees. <laughs> John, I do. John, John says there's too many insta kills. I don't want to do it. <laughs> no, I, like, I hate a lot of the things about it. Even though like it's got some of my favorite stars in the game, I'll be perfectly honest. Some of my favorite stars are in, in Shifting Sandland. Uh, I just hate a lot about it. I hate a lot about the outside. On the inside, I hate that stupid one where you, you're on like the little weird slide and you have to like find the five hidden spots, the coins there. Sure. I think that one's just tedium. You said you liked the puzzles though. 
That's a puzzle. It's like a figure it out. Secret you spot, can you see it from when you enter the building. It's not a puzzle. Well, I mean, we could be this critical on literally every star in the game. Like, I mean, well, I mean, I think we should. The womp boss, you just kill the womp boss and get the star. Like, what is, what is, like, yeah, they're all not that complicated. It's, oh, wow, they get the one with the lava and the log. You just climb the log and get the star. It's like, yeah, well, that's the game. Like, do you not like the game? No, we already doesn't. know I don't. <laughs> Because you ranked it low. You ranked it like F tier or whatever. And I never mind. I forget. I forgot who I was asking. <laughs> Do you like the game? No. <laughs> let's move on from this confusion of, of opinions. Uh, let's talk about something that most people tend to agree about. The water levels. I want you guys to get out your whiteboards. And I want you to rank. Which, not rank, but just say which one's your favorite. Uh, that's... Wet Dry World, Die Dar Docks, and Jolly Roger Bay. This is the easiest question ever I've ever been asked, by the way. I, I feel I would be shocked if we all didn't have the same answer. Uh, is everybody ready? I'm ready. Mm -hmm. And show them. Yep. Jolly Roger, Jolly Roger, Wet Dry, Wet Dry. I'm wet. Oh, <laughs> okay. it's a 2v2 mini game. Okay. I think the stars are pretty fun. I like the entire puzzle mechanics of Wet Dry World. That's why I think it's the best of the three. I actually think it's kind of unfair to compare Wet Dry World to Jolly Roger Bear and Dar 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 Docks. Because I think it's yeah, like enti it's an entirely different level, honestly. It's the stage where you have to do the least amount of swimming out of all three water stages. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can essentially not swim at all on that stage except for going to the village. Okay, cool. Well, then before we get into the minutia of, of what defines a proper water level, why don't you guys go ahead and just place all three of them now and uh, oh, we'll okay. go on from there. Is, is, it, is that all of them for everybody? Everybody's got all of them? Okay, Dude, everyone's everyone got all of them hates Jolly Roger Bay. Everyone hates Jolly Roger Bay. No, no, Dire Dire Ducks. Dire Dire Ducks. Yeah, it's such a useless stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, I always wonder why that even is a stage. I forget that it, it is. It's just that. there so they can show off the cool sub they made. <laughs> it's so empty. Like, like it's, it's one of the biggest stages, I think, and there's nothing in it. So, so that that level just is a complete whiff, like such a whiff yeah, that it's, it's just, like, what are we even talking about? I think we can all agree that a pirate ship is cooler than a submarine. Sure, <laughs> John. I have a big amendment to make. I'm realizing my the flaw in my leveling here. <laughs> I'm gonna move that up. Hey, there we go. That's fair. That's fair. Finally. We'll all agree. We'll all agree to that. <laughs> Justice for or maybe I'll do it like that. Oh. <laughs> Shane's gonna unclap. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, put it in reverse. <laughs> oh, you're gonna amazing. suck my hands apart. <laughs> okay, so let's. I I feel like nobody. There's nothing to say about Dire Dire Dog. Jolly Roger Bay. Let's go on. Let's go on to that. Since we already talked a little bit about wet dry. Not that we're done with it. Uh, Shane Austin. A for JRB, Chad and John C for JRB. Um, Shane, I actually want to hear from you because you had some in interesting things to say in your throwback. I'd say my favorite, favorite stars are the ones that encourage you to explore the verticality of a level. Swimming down into like the depths of Jolly Roger Bay and finding the cave and luring the eel out of its hole. I think that that's one that probably sticks with a lot of people just because it's kind of nightmare fuel. Yeah, it's one of those things that, that like everyone talks about when they talk about uh, Mario 64. It's just like one of those creepy things that was there that like freaked you out as a kid. But it but it stuck with everyone. So John, what is it? What In, in your opinion, how come it's not ranked as high? I like going into the, the ship. I think those are cool. But then there's another Star Wars like, oh, behind the ship, there is also another treasure chest puzzle. They do the treasure chest puzzle twice in that same stage, and they're just mm -hmm. in different locations, so that feels like a waste of a star slot. That's actually a good point. One of the stars is literally just shoot at a, a tiny spike and hope that you grab the right part of it. Oh, did you miss? <laughs> well, have fun swimming back to the cannon. <laughs> I will like, have fun, John. I will have fun swimming <laughs> back to I'm the I'm glad. Cannon. I'm glad for you, Shane. I'm glad for you. <laughs> I'll be listening to amazing music while I'm doing it. But Shane, is it just the music? Is it just the music? The music is no, like, but that whoa. definitely impacts it. Like okay, okay. I I mean I think that's a big part of it. Sure, but it, it's not the only part. But it, I think it's partially. Admittedly, I think the eel carries a lot of it. It sounds like does dealing with swimming everywhere. Is it annoying or not? It's kind of like is it worth doing or not? Because it sounds like this Chad and Shane or Chad and John just don't want to deal with that crap. 
which the swimming isn't I'm, annoying. What's yeah. annoying is the water mechanic up, grazing up and down in wet dry world. That's I don't like that. I I agree with Austin on that. It is it is like it's interesting on paper, but in practice, it's just annoying. That's what I find annoying because I don't mind if I miss the cannon, I have to swim back or whatever. That's on me. But like the uh, well, I have to get the water raised, I have to swim over there, and then I don't remember what does what, and I don't know. I just I mean, and there's plenty but, of like stars in Wet Dry World where if you fall off the platform, you land in water, and you have to swim all the way back. And they want you, and they just throw you back. You can get almost every star. I think you can get every star with that with keeping the water level at a minimum. Like I said, yeah, so it's, the, it's a swimming fall stage. And take fall damage and die instead. <laughs> or you just like do a leap and save yourself from taking the damage at the end. <laughs> John's argument is get good. I don't know why everyone hates the lowering and raising the water thing. Like that just seems like a ordinary traditional dungeon type of puzzle mechanic to me. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's that yeah, annoying. Yeah, it's exactly like the worst dungeon in Ocarina of Time. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. I don't mind yeah. the mechanic here though. <laughs> and there's a little village that you go into. That's cool. Yeah, it was the That's village. Good. I do like that. I it's do got like that. more going than than Lethal Lava Land. Yeah, it's like, who yeah. lives there? I, this I, is I weird. I do too. It's, uh, it's got some fun platforming. I mean, I did put it at B. I was mm. gonna say, you said, it well, sounds like you didn't really like it, but you ranked it kind of high. I, I enjoy this level. I, like, I enjoy the mo right. most of the levels, but I think it's the biggest mixed bag on the list, and that's why I put it in C. I find that so weird, because it's, it's such a vertical stage. Yeah. It, uh, it, I feel like it's a Tall Tall Mountain style stage, honestly. Well, I mean, to get up and down places, you need... Like the enemies that flip you up. That's for the little kids. That's that you don't have. You don't even need that. You don't even need that. That's why there's, you can raise them lower okay, the water. Okay, okay. Maybe it's because I remember where the hidden warp is. Maybe that's the problem. But like, there's there's a bunch of like easy, fast ways to get around that stage that you don't need that robot for. I absolutely hmm. hate the flip robots. I don't yeah. care how many times you. Need no way. Them. No way. So Best Mario. Yeah, they're enemy. They're, kind, they're kind of annoying. I'll give you that. They're, <laughs> they're annoying to deal with. Best Mario enemy ever. Oh, well, maybe that's my problem then. I didn't, uh, not knowing that it was a warp there. I didn't know there was a warp there because I never yeah, did that uh, stupid level. Anyways, <laughs> uh, you know what? Even lower, I have it a D. I have it a D. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I'm, we, I'm remembering how much I dislike this level as we yeah. go on. Austin's raising and lowering the, the, the ranking just like the level! Just like the water! <laughs> Amazing. Okay, let's let's move on. Let's let's look at the, the snow levels. Austin, you actually already have one. You've already got Cool Cool Mountain uh, at B. What is it about Cool Cool Mountain that, uh, that you like so much? I mean, are you like decently enough? Oh. You okay? Cool, cool mountain is the one. Which that's one like, do you want? The snowman. Snowman's land has the. Okay, you like snowman's I land. Up. The one with the big well, guy in the middle. Actually, and you know what? Screw it. Son of a bitch. Both of it be. <laughs> They're both at B. There you go. I fixed it. Okay. Todd is gonna run out of oxygen, bro. I like the penguin. He goes <laughs> eh, eh, and then you throw him off the cliff. Everybody did that. Everybody did. <laughs> Since Austin's got put both of them on now, let's let's go ahead and put them on the list, and we'll talk okay. about them from there. No chaos was cleaned up. Sorry, sorry, and or you're welcome, depending on which audience member you are. <laughs> John is the only one who's particularly split. You put Snowman's Land at D. What's yeah, I'm, wrong with I'm surprised Land, you John? have it so far apart because <clears throat> to me they're not even at, like that different at levels really. Maybe there's so bit. much more going on in Cool Cool Mountain in my mind versus Snowman's Land. Like there's the secret slide, there's the race, there's the snowman head, which I guess now I've realized I've just described three slides in a row. So is is it really just a case <clears throat> of like Snowman's Land just isn't good enough for you? Snowman's Land has like that neat like ice maze at the very beginning you can do to try to get a star. That's like a small like cool little mini puzzle. It has that weird stupid like jump on top of one of the spinners so you can float over to the block that's just a star. One which is also kind of mad because if you miss that or if you kill the enemy and don't quite make it, now you have to reset the stage or do a different star. It's like the other stages for you that are low, which is there's like kind of more <clears> or less like one shot things where if you fail, it's annoying to have to do it again. Yeah, kind of. It's got a freaking giant snowman. That's just freaking cool. <laughs> That's just cool. Although John's argument is so strong, I actually am starting to question if I have it too high up, honestly. The stand behind a penguin so that this giant snowman doesn't knock off your cap and make you redo the climb again. Outside of like those isolated yeah. fun parts, yeah. there's nothing really that good about this level. It 
It's an open, empty tundra, mm. and if I wanted mm-hmm. to see that, I would just go outside <laughs> in the winter. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Austin has swapped their you're, order you're... three times now. Well, let's we'll we'll let Austin move on, and 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 maybe he'll, he'll, his heart will find its its footing. So originally, this is where Chad and Shane placed Big Boo's haunt and Hazy May's cave. They have now done that. We are back on the normal timeline. This is interesting and not at all what I expected, not even based off of what you guys said. Hazy Maze Cave is statistically the highest ranked level Good. amongst the four of you. It gets too much hate. Really? Do you feel like do you feel like you're compensating for that? Or you feel like it's just that good and people are no, just I think wrong? it's really good. I think it's a good stage. It is a genuinely a good level. It's probably the level I revisited the most besides Tiny Huge Island as a kid. I kind of like some of the maze ones. Like, I like Hazy Maze Cave a lot. As a kid, I didn't like Hazy Maze Cave. I just found it to be kind of confusing and uh, it kind of gave me a headache. But I didn't have a headache last time I played it, so I guess it's not that bad. Going down into, like, the depths of... Hazy May's cave and finding Dory and steering her into the star for, uh, for whatever reason sticks with me quite a lot. A lot of exploration, a lot of puzzles, really eerie atmosphere, which I think fits this game as well because the, the hub's kind of eerie. It's like the dank toilet of the, of the <laughs> castle, but they made it cool. It's like actually cool. <laughs> Is, is that what if, it is? Is, is, this the, is it the cesspit? Is that why it's in the basement? It's <laughs> like, yeah, it's the plumbing. It's the, it's the plumbing. So this level is sort of unique in that, I mean, it, as we've already touched on, it requires a map physically put into, it's got a, it's got a mall directory. Absolutely. You just said it right there. Like you can start at the beginning of the level going left or you go right. How many other levels start like that? I don't think there's that really that many. That's pretty cool. And the fact that each room in Hazy Maze feels different. Like one room is like you're being, you have to run against boulders. Another room, you're in a giant underground like lake with Plessy. There's a lot of variety in that one stage. As a kid, I never did this level, except I would go do the Plessy star. I just memorized how to get to Plessy and would just run straight there and like get that star because that, that area was so cool. We have apparently one of the most loved levels Let's see. Let's let's see everybody no. place TikTok no. clock and see. I, if, know, uh... I know I'm solo on this. I know I'm solo on this. <laughs> Are you, John? What? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. S yeah. tier from Austin as well. Chad searching his feelings, unable to decide what side of the comments he wants to land I, on. I, nice. I get Picks where Shane put it, and I think I can, I, I can tell where his co complaints are going to be. I'm, even though Austin was on my side earlier, I'm still surprised he also put it at S. Why is it at S, Austin, while you're not looking at the yeah, screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the best platforming level in the game. It's so fun. I like to go in, like you're supposed to go in and make it be like frozen, but I always like to go in when it's as fast as possible and then try and just like jump up as quick as I can. I don't know, it's just a fun level. The stars are pretty good, but overall the platforming is the best. I like okay. that it's essentially a stage you can pick to do at your own pace. Mm. Uh, and I love that it's a climb stage that even if you fall, you'll probably still land somewhere because you more or less know yeah. where the safe ground is. You still have to do a climb back up, but at least it's not a, oh, well, reset. I don't disagree with anything that's been said so far. I just, I don't think any of the missions in this level are memorable or that fun. The one where you go all the way up no, to the No, that's top? fair. I appreciate the concept and it is fun to be in the level but like i'm, I'm trying to think of a, like a, a mission to say oh yeah that was really good and i can't really so think of one you either really like the platforming for its own sake or it or it doesn't have it doesn't quite have enough maybe enough puzzle or exploration uh for you shane all right let's wrap this up any any <laughs> any comparisons that have occurred as of finishing the tier list that are just completely uh, no you can't you won't you, you won't stand for them i still uh, cannot believe austin has rainbow ride in a yeah neither yeah. can i it's not going it, it, you, it, do you want to flip it with tiny huge island <laughs> do you want to flip it <laughs> you know no real quick and I, I don't know how much we really need to address this but because we all largely agree i i actually am changing hazy maze cave uh to s Hey! Up it goes! Wow! Well, Chad, this puts a lot of pressure on you, buddy. He's thinking about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Sorry. Wow! It's, Universal S tier. Look at that. I, I feel like people are gonna be be surprised about that because I like Shane I said. Am. This level gets a lot of hate. You, you know what? I'm I'm gonna shift. 
lethal lava. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm going to move up TikTok clock. Okay. Uh, That's I, 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 th I think, yeah, <laughs> it, it does have really good platforming segments in it. And, and I do like the gimmick. But like I said, it, I, I don't think I can put it any higher than that just because I, I don't think the missions are particularly memorable. I'm going right. to move up the bomb battlefield to B so it can be B, B, B. <laughs> Finally, he gets nice. the B that he wanted. He, yep, it all, so it all comes speech together. So the entire you gave at the beginning was for nothing, is what you're saying. <laughs> yep, and also Good. I'm gonna move up uh, uh, Boo's Mansion, and you're just redoing your whole list. That's what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, if he wants to, let him. If he if he wants to put Tiny Huge Island in S, he can. And I will allow put that. Tiny Huge Island in C. And oh, D. all righty. I'm keeping the other two in D. All right. Okay, so we all good? Everybody set? These are our tier lists? Yes. Look at yes. you guys. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. There we go. Any? <laughs> <laughs> all right. He I, moved, I just he switched moved. around uh, Huam's Fortress and Hazy Maze Cave. Actually, you know what? Tiny Huge Island is in D. You know, I think it's <laughs> Okay, I'll look. That's it. It's I'm gonna it. Move that. Everybody okay. gets, locking, locking it. You get 10 Final seconds. Final lock in. 10, 9, 8, <laughs> uh, 7, uh, 6, uh, 5, 4, uh, 3, uh, 2, 1. Uh, done. Uh, okay, done. Okay, done. Okay, We're right. done. These are, these are, oh, look, there's a nice amount of variety. And frankly, this is not, some some of this I expected, some of this I really didn't. <laughs> um, So, good job, everybody. Definitely Austin's cheated again. That's fine. I moved one more. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. Well, uh, the, I think the, the time has come for everybody's favorite uh, segment. Let's all work together to make a tier list. Yay, clapping. Yeah. Everybody seems really happy. I'm not clapping. Definitely. I'm not clapping. <laughs> you might as well do the easiest one. Just slam yeah, Hazy Maze. Sure, in S. that's true. Bam. Yeah. You're right. Maze Good. Is top. Hey, wait, 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 uh, wait, wait, this point, Dire Dire, Dire Dire's bottom. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. Dire Dire bottom. Hazy Maze. Okay. But, okay. Yeah, fine. fine. That's good. Bob bomb. Done. A A A B. Does that mean it goes at the back of A? I'm fine with that. Let's look at one that's a little bit more contentious. Let's let's do lethal. It's gotta be at least A. I no. I, I, I gave no. I gave, no. I gave, no. I gave no. some room on my bomb battlefield. <laughs> It, no. Name me one bad star. Name me one bad star in the level. The one Seriously. where you have to ride the elevator, then climb the the pylons in the middle. No. <laughs> no. no. Okay. No. That's just not a bad star. Hey, yeah, no, John, one. Name one bad star, John. <laughs> 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 All right. The slide puzzle. The, all the coins are right next to each other. It's like the easiest eight red coins because you can literally see them all and screen at the same time. You were complaining Hazy Maze Cave about how hard the red coin star is, but now this one's easy. And that's bad. He didn't say hard. He said annoying. It's not annoying. I'm just saying like if. You're gonna be like, name one bad star. How about the one where everything is right in front of you? Okay, high B, high B. We'll, we'll see about high, high at the very least. We'll settle with B for now. Let's do Jolly Roger Bay. You've got two A's and you've got two C's. That's just that, a B. That's a B. That's a B. Is everybody uh, cool yeah, with that? I, I guess we have to agree on that. Womp's Fortress, gen, genuinely quite liked. Uh, one person has it in S, so I think it seems fair that it'll go above ba bomb ba bomb yeah, it's yeah. definitely better. Than it's a bomb. better yeah. Babon battlefield, a slightly mm -hmm. more challenging one. Let's do Rainbow. You have it at your lowest A, Austin, and it looks yep. like most people don't like it so much. So this is gonna be tough. How is it F? We have two people within an F. So is it D or we got, C? We got A, C, F, F. It has to be it D. It has to be D. A C and an A can't outweigh two Fs. Uh, Austin, well, you can fight for this. It's up to I you, man. I have a really strong A. I have a really strong. I have a really strong. S. It's the lowest A you have on it's your, your list. Lowest, it's your lowest A, Austin. It's not that strong of an A. Well, I can move it. <laughs> no, you can't. Stop it. Stop that. I think D, D seems to make sense for now. Tiny, huge. <laughs> Speaking of compromises, uh, I already compromised to put it at C earlier. So what are you? So what are you gonna try and fight Shane over? There's two S's and an A. How is this not going in A? I had it at F originally, and I already compromised to put it at C to make you guys feel. Well, better. you're gonna compromise a little bit more because it's not it's not going low. It's gonna yeah, it's <laughs> gonna be at least a high A. I you can consider mine to be an F. For the reason I already compromised to put it at C because it is my least favorite level. I think it goes ba -ba -ba here. Ba -ba -ba. All right. Well, I said I wasn't gonna complain. I said I wasn't gonna put up much of a fight, so I won't. Let's see. Nobody really cared about Tall Tale Mountain. Literally one through four. Uh, hey. I'm gonna. B. You say D or C? C. I think C makes sense. Let's see Shifting Sandland. 
We number got one. an S. Number one, S best number one stage S. in the game. The average is B, right? B right. Me, me and Chad both have it in B, yeah. and then Austin and has it in better S, than lethal uh, for yeah. both of you. Austin's giving up a lot, like a lot, a, a lot. A, A. Come on, it's not, it's better no, than lethal. No, it's a B, dude. S, D, <laughs> B. There's two Bs. I don't think it's that much to ask. Top B or lower It doesn't a? even make sense to be an A. I think based on the situation, the fact that Austin ranks it the best level in the game. I think that lowest A is I think permissible. Not We're not just doing averages or else why am I doing a bit here? I could just do that myself on with a calculator. In that case then, Todd, there's three people screaming at you that your decision is wrong. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. he's right. Cause I gave up, I gave up lethal lava land from S to B. I gave up- I uh, gave up shifting sand land from D to A? <laughs> no. It's, at I least mean, if it's like, like B, then we I'm both lose the like, same no, amount. No, this and is rainbow like and big and tiny huge for Austin. I well, think we should I stop think... having bad opinions. <laughs> I'm gonna put this down for a moment. Let's look at TikTok <laughs> clock, guys. How about who likes a clock level? Looks like it goes at A. Uh, is TikTok clock better than Bob -omb? No. Yeah, it's more fun than Bob Bomb's Battlefield by far. Uh, no. 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 I, I think it's more it, fun, but I'd say most people would think Babam's more memorable and more fun. So I'm going to say it's John's going to give it up. I'll accept I, that. A makes sense though because it's right. two S's and two B's. Sure, so that's easy. Simple. Yeah. Less less yelling and pain. What am I even here Chad, for? Yell about something. Ch Chad's wrong. Okay. <laughs> A level is not good if you can't if you if you literally like <laughs> the audio is it ruins your experience. <laughs> All right, I think I think that's this Chad that, playing. That's bubble. Chad giving up. I think the music is scary <laughs> and bad. I think that it is. It is lower. It's lower than TikTok on almost everyone's list, but Shane's. As long as it's a. an A, low B. As, like okay. the, low, low B. the lowest of A's. That's fine. Low, low A's is fine. Yeah. We're putting way too much crap in A. Way too it's, much crap. It's, I, look, I, yeah, we're I not know, done and, yet. And I'm not gonna settle on anything other than shifting sand landing A. Wet dry world. I'm wet for a wet dry world. Chad did have a provocative drawing. Look at uh, this guy. Well, give this little guy a good home. I, I think we should put it in B. Chad lost a lot by us putting Haunted Mansion where it should be. Mm -hmm. Big Boo's <laughs> home, sorry. <laughs> I like, where meanwhile, be. Austin's steaming like, why are you willing to cave for Chad, but not me? Exactly. Because exactly. Chad's opinions didn't have me crawling up the walls. I'm gonna do low B for now. Snowman's land. No one seemed to, like, everybody seemed to get less and less high on this. This, this is low C, high D. Yeah, I'm gonna do a high C for that one. Cool, cool mountain. Where's it go? B. Oh, it, it doesn't even occur above A, except for, except for John. I've got it in A. I've got it in A. Yeah. Uh, it's my lowest A though, so it, it can be a B. And it's above lethal, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do top of B. And we're back, and we're back. I'm giving Austin, I'm giving Austin shifting Sandland okay. back a okay. B. 10 of mine are are not listed the way I listed it. Some of them right. all by a lot. You know which ones are, are in the same way I listed? Three, three to 10. <laughs> shifting sand is in A. I think I think that's fair. I think that th this is this is this is a little weighty, guys. But this is what we agreed on. We can move okay. the bomb battlefield down because it's in very this average is... level, so it doesn't make sense for it to be in A. It should be in B. Yeah, we've all oh, three of us have got it in A, but it doesn't make sense to put it in A. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, do you mean not argue it? It's an average level. It's like how is it better? Like how is it better than anything that is above? We can keep it like this if you want, but a just answer: Am I wrong? Honestly, am I wrong that if it wasn't the first level? It wouldn't be nearly as like. But it is the first level, so we have to factor that no, 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 in. No, 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 yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. Well, no. considering we all seem to agree Womp's Fortress was better, a better bomb yes. on Battlefield, the answer is no. If you took the pyramid out of Shifting Sandland, would it be good? <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, 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 the level's the same. You know what, Austin's right. Let's move Womp's Fortress up to S. There we go, there's, that's, okay. let's do okay. that. Okay, I'm fine with that. I actually, I like that. Womp's Fortress and S. I'm totally, that actually makes me feel better. Even though I put it at A, I still feel better about it being an S. Well, Todd, thank you for remaking my tier list. Only thing I even <laughs> did was give Austin this. And that's it. Everything else was everybody decided by averages. So anybody, I feel bad for any people in the chat and comments who were like, oh, I like all these stages. <laughs> you're just like, you're you're an outlier, I guess. All of Austin's choices are outliers. If Dia Dia Ducks and Rainbow Ride are your favorite levels, I don't feel sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was a long one. And honestly, there was still plenty more to talk about.
nothing quite brings out the opinions like Super Mario 64. Although, Final Fantasy comes close. Subscribe to make sure that you don't miss the next set of Gamer Tears JRPG episodes. We've got more to come as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.